Hi guys, welcome to the Emperor's Zone. Today we're going to be talking about disease in fish farm, disease your fishes can contact, you know, in your pond. So we're going to be talking about bubble gas disease. This is disease. This is a disease that people have been complaining a lot up to me. Is that these have been getting a mail about and be asking me to tell them what and what to do to avoid such mortality that is causing in their farm. Now, gas bubble disease is the type that your fishes get their stomach becomes very swollen and over time when they die if you pick them out their stomach is swollen you know it's always swollen to the region of close to their head you know that is a disease that they are facing and it can cause mortality fast and it can affect a whole lot of your fishes in your pond so without further delay let's talk about what causes that disease now if you have such in your farm there are multiple things you could do what i suggest is the first things you do one you stop feeding you know most of the disease when you find out that you have disease in your pond first things you do cut your feeding stop it don't assume they have to eat they are hungry stop your feeding then you aerate your water what that means is you make 80 to 90 percent change of your water you can make a hundred percent change you know you aerate your water that goes a long way to eradicate keep gas in your pond so you aerate the water you make a change of what's 100 percent 90 percent change of your water in your pond that can also work to stop that now the third thing you can do is to check your inlet of your pond what causes these things most of the time is when people try to become very fancy in their pond construction i don't know what they, i don't know why they do that they become fancy and they put the inlets in under the under the level of the top of the water for example if your pond is four feet and you're supposed to fill up to three feet having a free bond of one feet they put the inlets under the three feet you know so the water keep entering inside the pond and not from the top you forget that there are reasons why we construct ponds and we make the water drop from a distance into the pond because that process it's it attracts a whole lot of oxygen when the water drops from a height these are all science and you should read more about this so when you're constructing your pond don't put your inlet under the water where the water keep entering inside the pond you know you put your inlet on top of the pond where the water drops from a feet or so into your pond it helps generate a whole lot of oxygen for your fishes and it makes it exciting for them to when fresh water comes in through that process so that is one of the reasons why you have gas bubble disease in your farm because your pond level your inlet pond level is under your water level now before we go into the last point you should consider and you should check to help you curb the bubble gas disease in your farm what are you waiting for subscribe like follow go to the facebook page subscribe leave a comment like the page so we grow this channel together so the subscription actually goes up and i feel i'm doing a good job by seeing you guys hit the subscribe button and hit the like button hit the follow button on facebook and take the pain go to youtube like i said before hit the subscribe hit the like button so we'll all grow this channel together and i feel loved by you my followers now for the final point you should consider is to check how your feeding method is your feeding at the end of the day your feed you use they contain gas if you overfeed and your feed she doesn't eat the entire feed in your pond they decay and when they decay they release gaseous uh, substance that at the end of the day helps corrupt your fishes so watch your feeding feed to the minimum what that means is don't pour your feed necessarily into the pond because you feel your fishes are hungry feed little by little so they consume everything within the last five or three minutes of when you stop feeding so feed to the minimum and make sure there are no feed left on top of your pond when you're done feeding so there's nothing to decay help destroy your water so your fishes don't get the gas bubble disease so guys thanks for your time and have a nice day see you in multiple videos bye